we're gonna talk about how to rock a plate. So I've got my wooden mesotent jig here and I'm going to attach the rocker blade. And then I always put one of my weights on as well and that helps with just keeping it a little more steady and consistent and keeping it going in a forward direction. And you always want to make sure you've got your plate beveled first. This helps protect your rocker so that you don't hurt any of the teeth uh, along that rocker blade. Um, but you will end up needing to refile and burnish your bevels after you rock your plates. And we're going to be rocking the plate in 24 different directions. So I make a mat that's got 12 angles, so you basically go around the clock twice. So we're going to start on angle 1 here, and that means we're going to line up the rocker blade to be parallel with that angle, and so on with all the other angles as we go. And I start at one end of the plate, and start my rocking, and work my way down to the other end. To complete your first pass, you have to rock the entire plate at that angle, which means you have to do several rows. And you want them to overlap, kind of like mowing the lawn, so that you don't miss any spots. Then you're ready for your second pass. So for that, you're going to line up your rocker blade with the second angle, and you will again rock the entire plate at that angle. And as you're rocking, you're creating all these little burrs. So in the end, we want to have this beautiful, organic, copper velvet. And doing the 24 different directions will give you that, as you can see in this little spot right here, 